Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays. I'm here today to show you guys how to unlock the original Xenoverse 1 story in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 for Nintendo Switch. So, from the title screen, what you want to do is go to the Nintendo eShop, scroll all the way down to the Legend Patrol pack, and go ahead and download and install this. It's completely free of charge currently right now until October 31st on Halloween of this year. So make sure you guys should download this as soon as possible if you can. And I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be, you know, increased in price or anything later on or if they're just going to continue to keep it like this for sales. But we'll see. But make sure you install this before anything and then we're going to go ahead and get into the game. Alright guys, so we are currently in game in the Times Nest right now and something really important that you guys need to know before you can actually take on the original Xenoverse 1 story is that you must complete all the quests or at least some of the quests from the Xenoverse 2 story in order to unlock the Xenoverse 1 story. So pretty much for me personally what happened was I completed the Saiyan Saga and a couple of quests within the Frieza Saga and this robot named Wipa will appear in the background of the Times Nest. So you want to go all the way back there and this robot will have a purple scroll above its head. So what you can do is talk to it and it'll say version 1.07 Legend Patrols will allow you to experience the Time Patrol campaign from the original Xenoverse. So additional Legend Patrol quests are unlocked by completing earlier Legend Patrol quests and progressing further in the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Time Patrol campaign. Purple story icon above the Times Nest on the map indicates that there are more Legend Patrols available. So Wipa will say, hi there, you must be the elite patroller everyone's been talking about. My name's Wipa, I'm in charge of handling Legend Patrol, nice to meet you. And, you know, progressing on, let's jump right into it. You know, allow me to explain about the Legend Patrols to you. So, Legend Patrols are really cool. I don't know how it all works, but get this, you get to visit the Toki Toki City in the past. Experience what it is like to be a Legendary Hero for yourself. This is a real game changer of a system. So, up until this point, you could only watch historic events from the Time Vault. Now you get to live them. This amazing system combines the Time Vault's powers with Capsule Corporation's new tech. Fancy, right? It'll be like you actually becoming the legendary hero. You're in for an experience like no other. So, what do you think? Sounds exciting, right? You can get a taste of what it was really like to be the legendary hero. So how about it? Want to try it out? So you want to go on the Time Patrol or the Legend Patrol quest, whatever you want to call it at this point, tell you to be safe, and you can check it out for yourself and see that this is guaranteed 100% right here. The prologue in the Time Vault. Really sick feature that they incorporated into the Xenoverse 2 for Switch version. Currently exclusive to the Switch version and potentially uh, going to be added into the PS4, Xbox One, and PC later on. But, you know, I digress. That's pretty much all you have to do. As you progress through the story in Xenoverse 2, you can unlock more sagas. So, defeating the Boo Saga, for example, will unlock the Boo Saga in this game as well. And, you know, you can progress through the story and unlock more and more and more. Just make sure that whatever is currently played through in the Xenoverse 2 story is going to be correlated to the Xenoverse 1 story. Because they're pretty much exactly the same, with the exception of a couple of added things in Xenoverse 2. So... If you're going to do this, unfortunately, you're going to have to be doing some sort of like prequel fights or whatever because you're going to have to go through the second version of the game and then you can progress through the first version of the game. As you can see in the prologue, if you guys remember, if you ever played Xenoverse 1, you fight Frieza initially and then you go through fight Cell, then Majin Buu or Kid Buu if you want to call him that. And then, you know, pretty much that's it. You can go ahead and go on through the story, through the Saiyan Saga, all the way throughout with, you know, fighting Mira, Toa, everything like that. So make sure you download this DLC. It's completely free of charge. You get the Resurrection F pack as well as the Battle of the Gods pack incorporated into it and some GT elements as well, which is pretty awesome. So, uh, again, it's only going to be available up until Halloween of this year, October 31st, uh, you know, for free, I believe. Most likely what they're going to do is incorporate it into another DLC or whatever later on. And, you know, probably it's going to cost like 5 maybe $10. Maybe might be cheaper. I don't know. It's just speculation at this point. But, you know, hopefully you guys can get it in due time. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully it helped. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.